And now a time for our prayers. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the gift of being, the gift of life, the gift of today, the gift of relationships, of family, of friends. Lord, we thank you that when the game gets tough, which it so often does, that you are always there. And Lord, we know that so often we get things wrong, but actually what you really can't care about is not that, but that you want us to know how much that you love us, how much you care, how much you want us to really absorb the gift of life that you've given us, the gift of love that you've given us. Lord, we can do nothing apart from you. We pray, Lord, that you would so fill us and those who we pray for with your Holy Spirit, that they would know that you are so present in all the worries and crises and joys and events of our life. Lord, we long for your presence to be more real in our lives. We long to abide in you. Lord, bless us, fill us, melt us, mold us, and use us. And may we bring the love that you give us to all of those whom we meet, we pray. And Father, we lift to you your world at this time, such a fractured and difficult period for it. Lord, we pray for peace. We pray for a desire for unity and oneness, for a desire for reconciliation and understanding of difference. Lord, we pray that you would change the hearts of those who would make war. Lord, that can only happen by the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray for those who are in harm's way, who are suffering dreadfully at this time. We pray for peace between Russia and Ukraine and Russia and the West, between Israel and all its Arab neighbours, between peoples of difference, different colour and religion and background, an understanding that life is meant to be created and centred in you. Come, Holy Spirit of God, and melt and change the hearts of your people, we pray. <clears throat> Father, we lift to you our families and our friends and all those whom we love and think about and care for. May they know your presence, Lord. May they know the nearness of you to them. Let them know that you are their rock, that you are their salvation, that you are their refuge, and that you long for them to experience your loving care. Come, Holy Spirit of God, and transform the hearts of your people, we pray. And Heavenly Father, we lift to you all of those who are on our hearts at this time, who are sick and hurting. Those in our families, those in our, of our friends or in our communities. Lord, for those who are frightened, those who are disturbed, those who are dying today, those, Lord, who are lonely, for those who have nobody to pray for them, for those who lost somebody very close to them. Lord, may they all know your loving, healing arms around them, we pray. And Father, we lift you all of those who we love so much, but see you no longer. Thank you for them, Lord. 
Bless them richly. And thank you for the certainty that we will come to meet with them again in your eternal kingdom. Merciful Father, fill our hearts with your love and your light and your peace. And please accept these prayers on behalf of your Son, our Saviour, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And Father, as we come to the close of this <clears throat> season in St. Bart's, we want to give you great thanks for all of those who've done so much to enlarge and benefit community. For all those who've been there for others, served others, led you to others, or led them to you. But Lord, we also want to reflect on those times where we've got it wrong and where we've hardened our hearts. Lord, for those times where we have turned our back on you <clears throat> or just simply not had faith, Lord, have mercy. For those times, Lord, where we betrayed you through unfaithfulness, through hardness, where we've turned our back on others, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For those times, Lord, where we've simply just got it wrong, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now a time for the peace. We are the body of Christ. By the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let's offer one another virtually a sign of peace all around the world. <clears throat> 